Hello guys, in this video we will talk about TF-IDF and how it should be calculated with a very simple example. So let's start. A very popular representation for text is the product of term frequency and inverse document frequency, commonly referred to as TF-IDF. The TF-IDF value of a term T in a given document D is like this. Note that the TF-IDF value is specific to a single document D, where IDF depends on the entire corpus. Systems employing the back of words representation typically go through steps of stemming and stop words elimination before doing term counts. Term counts within the document from the TF values for each term and the document counts across the corpus from the IDF values. Each document thus becomes a feature vector and the corpus is set of these feature vectors. This can set, uh, be used in a data mining algorithm for classification, clustering or retrieval. That was a quick introduction to TF-IDF and now let's go to a simple task. Let's have a situation. We have uh, some sentences. The first one is A quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. What a fox! The second one A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy fox. What a fox! Please keep in mind that all the sentences in our corpus are defined as small d. So we have a d1 and d2. Based on this rule, our corpus is defined as the big D. Now we have some data. This data led us to shape a main question. And the question is like this. How word fox is relevant to corpus D documents? Remember, we have documents D1 and D2. Let's go to the solution part. Let's start in here with some definitions. What is DF-IDF? In the first part of this calculation, we need to clarify that DF is the frequency of any term in a given document. We need to calculate DF for document number 1 and document number 2 by a given argument a word FOX. So let's calculate. For document number 1, we have a 12 words in total. In this context, we have a word fox occurred two times. Knowing this information, we can calculate df like this. 2 dividing by 12 equal 0 0.17. In the same way, we calculate df for document number 2. In this case, we have fox occurred three times in this document. So the calculation will be as follow. 3 dividing by 12 equal to 0 0.25. Keeping in mind that D1 and D2 has the same number of total words. The first part of calculation is done. Now we have to move to the second part. We need to calculate IDF. IDF is constant per corpus and account for the ratio of documents that include that a specific term. We need to calculate IDF for full corpus that we have. For this, we are using a logarithm. In this equation, at the upper side, we need to look at how many documents at our corpus a given word FOX is accurate. Now we see that a word fox is occurred in document number 1 and in document number 2. So, at the upper side of our equation, we need to input a value of 2. On the lower side in this equation, we have to input a value of total documents that our corpus is consist of. And that means we have to input value of 2 because we have uh, two documents in total in our corpus. That resulting into logarithm 2 dividing by 2 and it's equal to 0. Now we have enough information to calculate TF-IDF for all documents in our corpus D. 
we have document number 1 and document number 2. So we will calculate TF IDF separately for each document in our corpus. For the first document, TF IDF equal to 0 0.17 from the first part of our calculation multiplied by 0, it is from second part of our calculation, and it's equal to 0. For the second document, we calculate TF IDF in the same rules that we applied for the first document. Let's do like this. 0 0.25 from the first part of our calculation and multiplied by 0 from the second part of our calculations and it's equal to 0. Now we have calculated TF IDF for all documents in our corpus and for document number 1 TF IDF equal to 0. For the second document in our corpus we have calculated TF IDF and it's equal to 0 again. Now we have calculated TF IDFs for all the documents in our corpus and that means that now we can answer to the main question in this task. How a word fox is relevant to corpus D documents? And the answer is using TF IDF that we have calculated just before the word fox is equally relevant for both documents D1 and document D2 because we have the same values of TF IDF. It's zero. This calculation can be applied in any amount of documents that you have in your corpus. And one more time again, what is TF and IDF? TF is a simple choice to use the raw count of a term in a document and the IDF in where the document frequency is a measurement of how much information the word provides in our corpus. By saying corpus, I mean across all the documents that we are having. So, by summarizing this video, TF IDF is a statistical measurement that evaluates how relevant a word is to a document in a collection of documents. This is done by multiplying two metrics how many times a word appears in a document and the inverse document frequency of the words across the set of documents. It has many use, most importantly in automated text analysis and is very useful for scoring words in machine learning algorithms for NLP. TF IDF was invented for document search and information retrieval. I hope that this video was useful for you and I wish you never stop learning. If you like this one, please subscribe me and you will get more similar useful videos in future. So see you there.